Well, good morning, Coach Barker here, and I'm on my bike, hooray! Yeah, so it's Coach Biker here, and I uh, haven't been out on the bike for oh, a long time. Liverpool's been in lockdown for I think six weeks, can't remember exactly, and uh, I've been doing a little bit of research, and it turns out that you probably can ride your bike legally for recreational purposes in the lockdown, and your insurance will cover you, as far as I can tell from all the research that I've done. But is that in the spirit of the lockdown? I don't think so. But uh, anyhow, I'm out for a, a legitimate reason this morning. I'm going to see if I can get a COVID-19 test on a motorcycle. So stay with me. Uh, Liverpool, as far as I know, is uh, the only city in the world that's offering uh, unlimited testing, whether you have symptoms or not. In fact, they're actively encouraging you to go and have a test. I think basically to... Um, track what's going on in the city which has been in what we call tier 3 for quite a while um, due to the high number of cases at the end of uh, September so I think the, the feeling is if they can get you to go for tests even if you haven't got any symptoms I've no symptoms at all uh, well only symptoms of madness from being in the house for too long so just see that it does say on the website drive-through testing car or motorcycle so I'm going to the nearest one that I know I've booked a time we'll see how it goes and then when I've done that successful or otherwise I'm going to just ride back a slightly longer route pull over talk to a field that I haven't seen for a while and um, also go over the things that have changed on my bike which pretty much have been documented but you may have missed the videos but there is actually one or two other little things I've done which I didn't bother to mention I must say the bike feels fantastic I've only ridden it a couple of miles but just to be out again grips are heating up new foot pegs feel good much more support on your feet yeah so I had the bike lowered P3 tune in Liverpool, Triumph Way. Brilliant guys, did everything I asked of them. Uh, did it quickly and a very good price too. I'm still intending probably to get the KTM lowering kit at some point. I've used the Kuba one inch link for now. And it really has made a difference. Oh, okay with the bike uh, stock, but it's just nice to have that. A bit more contact with the floor. I've also got the seat concepts, low seat combination. I think the seat height's now probably about 80 millimeters lower. Yeah, I'm guessing probably sort of 70 mils, something like that. In fact, I'm going, I'm putting my foot down on the toes and the ground's hitting me on the flat of the foot because <laughs> I'm not used to it. It's great. I'll need to do a lot more testing, some longer runs, which I can't do at the moment to see whether uh, I'm going to keep it like this but uh, Paul at P3 said he could put the link back in if I wanted and put the forks back as they were this bike does go especially with that quick shifter it doesn't half help just to get away from traffic at the lights stay within the speed limit and just get there a bit faster it just gives you a bit of breathing room when you've got uh, these big SUVs up your jack seat Yeah, pre-booked. You're allowed to, it's che I checked the government website. You yeah. Cool. Just a double check, a double check. Yeah, down there. Thank you very much. Okay. Someone's got to be the first. <laughs> yeah. I've got my uh, paper thing. Oh, I've got my indicator. Sorry? Somebody's just to do it for you, is that okay? Fine, yeah. I'll probably do it wrong anyway. Yeah, I've just got this one. I've. Uh... Do you want me to take it off? Yeah. 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 
Okay, cheers. I'll see you again probably. Well, that confused them. They've not had a motorcyclist before. But uh, the website does clearly say you can go on a motorcycle, so that's what I've done. So I've had my first COVID-19 test. And you know when they say things make your eyes water? Uh, that did, particularly the one up the nose. But it wasn't overly unpleasant. I would use the old joke about having had worse things in my mouth, but uh, I'm above that. So I'm not going to stay out very long, even though, as I say, I'm pretty sure it is legal to ride recreationally and you are insured, as long as you've paid your insurance. Certainly plenty of cyclists around. So, definitely a time to stick to the speed limit, not draw any attention to yourself. Don't take any risks, don't want to end up in hospital. But, oh, it's so nice to be out. I can't tell you how nice it is. Yes, I'm outside! I'm free! Uh, at least for five minutes. Okay, so I've got to stand up on my pegs. Oh yeah, they feel good standing up. Much better. Uh, you've got full support now across um, both insteps. That's where I tend to stand is with my instep on them. So uh, yeah, the wider pegs are good. What's up my landscape? How's everybody doing? Apologies for that, I'm not sure what accent that was, but uh, anyway. Whoa, what's up my field? How you doing man? Seen you for a while. How's it all going? Looking good. Let's see what I've uh, been doing in here lately, but nothing's growing, the seagulls are still happy. Anyway, sorry I haven't been around for a while. I haven't been able to really. Um, but uh, just thought I'd catch up. Say hello. Nice flock of birds flying around there together in formation. I like that. Oh, it's so nice for the soul to see some uh, field. Okay, let's have a look at the bike. See whether, see where we're up to with it. Still got the red hot exhaust. Probably gonna have to go at some point. I actually burnt a cloth on there, look, <laughs> forgot about it, wiped it. It would do that anyway, but um, that was just my stupidity. Got the new pegs on, new bigger pegs. Got the Perimoto rack on. I have got some Perimoto guards to fit at some point when I choose my luggage. Uh, probably gonna go with the uh, Krieger OS32, fit that. Some points, so I'll fit those then. Uh, yep, there's the pegs seem to be working well did get the seat concepts low seat which uh, I'll talk about when I've got used to it a little bit more uh, Bart Buster hand guards are on seems to be fine seems to fit well enough uh, what else have I done um, I did fit a dongle for low speed but um, I haven't got any details on it and so far it seems to be okay I think what it does just richens the fuel a little bit um, I might talk about that in a, in a future video at some point. Got my uh, covers on both sides and uh, the aluminium KTM uh, bash plate. So the bike, as far as I know, is going well. I've not really been out riding it for obvious reasons. So anyway, I thought I'd just take the opportunity to say hello to this field and then uh, head off home back indoors for another however long. Yeah, so uh, as I say, I'm gonna head off home now. It was quite a interesting little trip. I forgot to vlog the uh, Kuba link, so I might show that in a moment. Oh, that feels good, 60 miles an hour. National speed limit, beautiful. I'm still in an hour about a screen. On a day like today, I don't need one. The heat grips on, I'm toasty. There is a nice smooth wind flow, but I've still got my visor open up to 60 miles an hour. I have to say, the bike's riding well. 
um, lowered or not on its suspension at uh, 60 anyway so can't feel any dis discernible difference still feels quite plush on the bumpy stuff and smooth on the faster stuff so <laughs> oh god I miss this Whoa, brilliant hello fields Woo, hello landscapes <laughs> hello mud interesting very interesting mm, bit of sand a nice old house I like that Mud in the road, low field, boggy. We have had a lot of rain lately. So I have temporarily gone with the Kubelink, the one inch Kubelink, which uh, you can probably see there, hopefully. And I've uh, lowered the forks by 20 millimeters, or P3 tuning did it for me. The bike seems to perform exactly as before, as far as I can tell that. My caveat says I've not tested it on the motorway yet not been able to um, and if you look with my low seat as well I can basically flat foot both sides so the seat height now is pretty much the same as on the um, 790 I've not measured it but it feels about the same and obviously this bike is so much lighter not that the 790 is a heavy bike the 790 Adventure but uh, this is 40 kilograms less than that so yeah it's very light so what did I learn from that? Well you can get a test on a motorcycle. Uh, don't be surprised if they're surprised when you do turn up on one, but um, they dealt with it. They did the test. Not the most unpleasant thing in the world. As I say, I've got no symptoms or any suspicion that I've got COVID. It's just that we're doing a city-wide testing and they're asking for volunteers and people to go and get a test regularly actually so I'll probably go again Kodge Biker is out of the house or was, going home now can't have too much of a good thing 